I don't think y'all can see me, but let me turn some light on over here. There we go. Oh, I know that's bright. <clears throat> but good morning, you guys. It is currently up, and your girl is up. Okay. For some reason, I can't sleep. <sighs> but my freaking neighbor's dog was whining. And at first I thought it was Diva. And so I opened up my door. But it's not her. So that's when I realized that it's my neighbors in the back of me, y'all. And woke me up. So. It is too early. Too bright for that light. Let me see. But how are you guys doing? It is Saturday. <clears throat> Let me see if this will work. Oh, yeah, that's a whole lot better. I don't want that much light on. Like, I have my kitchen light on. That stays on. Usually that one is on. But anyway, <clears throat> let me get my coffee. Turn you on, Kerry. Let's turn you on. Oh, I'm gonna need some more water. It's gonna be blink. Let me put some more water in it right now. And Halo is still asleep, but she better be asleep. Like, she should be waking up no time soon. She did not want to go to bed last night. She kept running around the house, talking about she's dead. Then she's violet, and that's what she want to be now, is violet. I said, well, what happened to you being a princess? I don't want to be a princess. I want to be a superhero. What she was. <laughs> I remember when she just first got into a uh, superhero, she called herself Super Boo Boo. <laughs> My name is Super Boo Boo. that age you just when they are kids you just let their imagination run free because you never know you know you just never know so yeah she and then she got the dolls in her bed with her so and then they showing all the commercials of the Incredibles so she goes crazy when she see it on TV get one I need to this uh, coffee was pretty good y'all this the nut of butter Y'all probably won't be able to see that, right? Mm -mm. Yeah, it's pretty good. It ain't as dark how I like it, even though I do put it strong on my carrot, but it's still good. And I always, I need to buy some more of this too. Take a couple of pumps of the vanilla and put it in my coffee for more flavoring. So, uh, so early, but I still get up. It don't matter what day it is, I still get up. It's like in my house, someone is up 24/7 in here. I feel like, but um, yeah. So trying to figure out what we're gonna do today. It's been gloomy um, here in Arizona, which I know it's been gloomy everywhere too, because some states is y'all catching rain. We haven't caught no rain just yet, but um. Oh, 40% chance of rain today. No, 50% of AM, so I hope y'all be able to see that. But, so I don't know what we're going to do today. Um, Father's Day is tomorrow. I was going to do something with the baby, but wasn't quite sure. Probably just be at home cleaning up and what have you. But me getting up early like this is for the birds. Then again, no, it's not because it's like, if you want to get up and get stuff done, you got to get up early. And y'all, I know I look a hot mess. I look a hot mess all the time. I was just looking at a girl on YouTube and she was saying, um, video. And she was saying how she don't want to come on camera looking at a hot mess. And then if she come across one of her subscribers or whatever, they see her looking at a hot mess. Look, I don't care. If I ever come across a subscriber and y'all see me looking at a hot mess, you will not be shocked because y'all see it here. <laughs> So that's how I feel about it. But I know you should be like, try to look presentable and all of that. 
Day that coffee went fast. Well, I feel like it went faster today. Maybe I'm because I'm just talking. But I know you're supposed to look presentable and all that. But look, right now, if y'all see what time it is, it's still early in the moment. But you guys, I'm so excited because we are 1500 away from 30k yes it's i just i can just taste it i can feel it i can feel some more halo angels coming our way i'm super excited so y'all be sure to yup slap the shit out of that like button just slap it slap it share these videos and i'm putting my cream right here y'all share with your whole family members i know i had a love tell me um she said my friend told me to check out the video and now i'm subscribed i'm like oh that is so sweet you know so yes share these videos with your mama your daddy your cousin your auntie your granny <laughs> just everybody you know because i can't wait till when we hit 30k but the big thing is you guys I'm looking for that 50k and when I hit that 50k we party okay we going to party and then if God is willing and everything is a-okay I'm gonna do a huge giveaway a huge one something bigger than what I have had ever done before and look at my cup I picked up didn't even know it blessed yes amen being blessed Okay, blessed and stress free. But yeah, we're gonna do a huge, a huge giveaway when we hit that 50k. I, I could just feel it. I'm gonna have to ask Halo, even though she don't understand it, but like if she want to do something. Because I have a lot of young kids on here. And I thank you guys all, but I want to do something for everybody, you know. But when I do it for the young kids, y'all going to definitely have to get y'all parents permission because I don't want nobody's parents coming for me, you know. Why are you doing this, you know? <laughs> Who the hell are you? Because I know I would have been, you know. Seriously, because I, I'm still in mommy mode. Even though my two oldest ones are adults you know um it's hard as a parent you guys and this is another thing i i appreciate all of you guys saying you a great mom and all of that trust me i do my very best and i know it's because of what you guys see but i'm gonna be honest best believe i have made mistakes i have made mistakes every parent make mistakes um there is no perfect parent out there you do the best you can as a parent and you learn as you go and even though i say with halo she's my second time around i'm making mistakes with her too definitely i'm definitely making mistakes with her but that's just parenting and every child is different you know so it just gets me you know so i mean but I, I do appreciate it that you guys are giving me the encouragement um and that's how i foresee it as encouraged for me to continue being the best mother that i can be to halo so i thank you all for that but just know i do make mistakes i, I make them all the time okay like my mother will always say that's what they have erasers on pencils for for you to erase your mistakes so and I, always, I have said that with Halo, um, she was placed in my life to erase some of the mistakes. But yet and still, I'm going to make mistakes with her. Um, so, But parenting is hard. I know I had another young lady say, oh, I can't wait to have a kid like Kayla. Uh -uh. To all these kids, to all every single last one of you kiddos on my channel, wait to grow up trust me wait to grow up i have two grown adults and my middle child she is married and they all both are grown to do what they want to do but i tell them y'all wait to grow up and i tell her don't be trying to have no kids right now enjoy your life because 
when you have kids, it takes a drastic change, a drastic change. And even when you have them, you can get older, it's still gonna be a big difference. It's still gonna be a big change. So enjoy your childhood where you ain't gotta be worried about another mouth to feed or paying bills or life insurance. And a lot of people don't think about that. And you should have life insurance for your kids, you know, cause the day and age that we live in, in and people going young and old, I mean, more young it seems like these days, you know, you should have life insurance on your kids, you know? I have life insurance on my grown adults, you know? That's just how it is, you know? So, and actually I got life insurance when my father passed away and my father passed away very young, you guys. He was really young. <clears throat> so, um, yeah, just, you know, I don't know where I was going with that, but it just went into that. But yeah, yeah, just being parenting is hard. Life is hard and just worrying about taking care of someone else is very, very hard. And even to this day, um, I worry about my older girls, you know, I do. And when they got to that age, the teenage stage, when they were 17 and 18, it was hard for me to let go. I struggle, you guys don't understand. It was times that I sat in my room and I cried because I'm fighting, I'm fighting to still have control over their life and, and try to still direct them the right way. And I don't know why I'm crying, I don't know why I'm getting so emotional, but it's true, you guys. A couple of years ago, it was hard for me it was really, really hard for me. I mean, I would sometimes sit in my closet and cry because me struggling with letting my kids go and then finally, I just had a long talk with the Lord and he told me like, you can't, you can't do this. Like you can't do that. But once I started to let go, start to let them see things through their own eyes as opposed to me seeing it through my eyes and trying to give them a vision and just started just shutting my mouth. And things got a little bit better for me. Granted, granted I still struggled even like a couple of months ago, even talking to my daughter Luxury. And one time I just got slapped. It was like, I felt it was like, just shut up. Don't say nothing else to her. Don't say nothing else. She has to learn. She's grown, she's married. She has to learn, you know, because that's the only way they are gonna know. And um, it's hard, y'all, it's just hard. So y'all little kids that wanna grow up, have babies, they are cute. But when you get to having no money in your pocket because your kids is cute, Okay, and hey, I done been there, done it. I done had to wear, it would be a situation, I done had holes in my drawers to make sure my kids had what they need. I'm not that parent, y'all. I'm just, I'm not that parent at all. You would never, ever see me all dolled up, hair done, nails done, and my kids look like shit. That ain't me. I, I don't play that, you know. I do not play that mess, so enjoy your youth because when you have to worry about another mouth to feed and when you can't get and some nights you might have to go hungry because your child can be extra hungry and if you cooked and they be like i'm hungry again and you'd have made enough to make a meal stretch but if your child i'm hungry and then you got to figure out how to you go eat the next day life is rough y'all Life is rough. Enjoy your childhood, you know. Be a kid, you know, because once you become adult, you can't go backwards. You can't go backwards, you know. You can't decide, oh, I don't want to do this no more. No, you can't do it. So, I just wanted to say that I don't know who I'm saying this to, but like I said, I have gotten um, text messages, I mean, messages in my inbox. And, you know, I just want to be real because for me, honestly, I, like I said, I know I got a lot of kids that are following my channel because of Halo. But here, y'all gonna get the realness. And I'm gonna talk to y'all straight like I would talk to my own daughters. You know. 
I love to see young kids make it. I love to see them make it, you know, and that's my biggest thing with my girls. I love to see them make it. I don't want them to struggle, even though they're going to have some struggles, but I don't want them to struggle like I did, you know, so anyway, I, I don't know why I got on here and said all that at four o'clock in the morning, but anyway, on a good note, hashtag on the road to 30K, you hear me? Yes, ma'am. I look. I love y'all so much. I love y'all for loving us, loving Halo and myself. And I know it's predominantly Halo, okay? I know it's predominantly Halo. Like, y'all just love y'all some Halo, but Halo is a pain in the butt, okay? She's a brat. She is a true brat, and I be saying it's because she's mixed with them two bloods. That Hispanic blood and this black blood ain't no joke. Like, it's just too much. It's too much attitude. It's too much just want to be in control. It's too much in my way. It just, uh, it's too much of giving me, making me older than what I really need to be, okay? Because I didn't have gray hair, so my two oldest ones. When I had Halo, I got some gray hair so look she is just too much y'all she a little firecracker and i'm just like good god almighty you know i'm lord oh <laughs> and i'm pretty sure ain't sure y'all done seen her catch a little attitude look and i'm just dreading when she turned seven i didn't say teen seven and eight because look the way she is at four we're about to be four here Next month, good God of mine. Y'all continue to pray for me. You hear me? But like I was saying, hashtag roll to 30K. Somebody put that in the comments and I'm like, yes, ma'am. You know who you are. Yes, hashtag roll to 30K. And I can't wait to be hashtag roll to 50K. Okay. <laughs> and when we do 50K, we party. Like I say, everything goes all well. You guys. I'm gonna do a huge giveaway. It's gonna be huge. So, y'all better wait for it. You better wait for it, cause it's coming, okay? I'm gonna really wanna just say thank you, you know, thank you. So, and also, um, if y'all don't know, we do have a PO box. So if you guys wanna send us any kind of letters or whatever, if you want me to read some letters, um, or just to myself, you know what I'm saying? If you don't want it to be on camera, definitely put it in the letter. Like, I don't want this to be on the blogs, on your channel. But this personally for you, if you want to just chit chat or talk about stuff. And trust me, I didn't have people that reached out to me. And we didn't have conversations via direct message through Instagram. You know, I appreciate you guys uh, for appreciating me. In my opinion, that means a lot. But I have a P.O. box and, you know, just, yeah, you know, you know, if you guys want to, like I said, send a letter, want to chat it up, you want to talk to me about something, if you just need an extra person to talk to, I am here for you guys because you guys are here for me and I will try to do my very best, you know, as a person, but understand that I am human. Um, I don't, I don't have the right for anything, you know what I'm saying? I just can go based on what i know so and i'm being honest with you i i, I don't have the answers you know it, it baffles me how people be getting on here if you want to write us or send us letters or get advice marriage advice how you gonna get some marriage advice and you hell you just put up a video two days or two months ago or whatever and you having situations like what you gonna just what what, 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 what are you gonna be able to tell them you know like you have to tell them, hey, I'm, I'm learning as we go, too, you know. Don't nobody have to write a wrong answer to it, y'all. And one thing is for damn sure, when you are in a marriage, in a relationship, be careful how you get advice from people. Because you have to understand that when you in that relationship, it's you and that person. Not you and a third person, unless you with that type of shit, okay? But... Usually, it's just you and whoever your partner is, okay? So, trying to get 
advice for somebody else. Just be careful, especially if it sounds kind of funny, especially if somebody trying to encourage you to leave your husband, leave your wife, and like, that ain't what I'm with. Like, if that's something you made the decision, okay, you make the decision. But I would never encourage anybody to be like, really like, leave him. I'm like, if you know he ain't shit, you know he ain't shit. Why are you asking me? Hello, like... <laughs> Because there's certain things I don't, I wouldn't deal with, be honest. But the next woman will deal with, you know. Everybody is different. And it is in your marriage to say for better or for worse. But when I say for better or for worse, I guess I put stipulations on some shit, okay? Because there's some shit I just won't deal with. Now that it is what it is, you know. So everybody is different. So y'all be careful when y'all get relationship advice from people. Excuse me, that don't even have... The correct advice for their own damn relationship so especially when they're young that's another thing especially when they're young and fresh at two or three years no 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 you got to be in the game for a long time even with luxury and my child will witness to this it's an older couple um that we know and they were um ex-military and they were in the service as well and the husband retired beautiful beautiful couple love them to death i encourage luxury to talk to them you know because you need to talk to somebody that done been there done it put some time some sweat blood tears and everything and gonna give you the good and the bad and all not just this this phony shit okay you know so Talk to somebody that got some sense. Because you got some old folks that don't got any sense, okay? But you talk to somebody that got some sense, okay? And you would know that. You would definitely know that. Anyway, I'm going to finish drinking my coffee. Hashtag road to 30K. We love you guys. We love you all. And thank you so much for supporting us. And we're going to continue supporting you. We love y'all. Hashtag Italy. Hashtag roll to 30k. Hashtag we love Hados Angels. So look who's up. Say good morning. <laughs> they don't want to see that. So she's drinking and her baby's there. Page of math. I am currently trying to respond I'm back to you guys. I do try to respond back. Um, as you guys can see, like I do, try to do my very best. They done seen Dash already, and make sure, just going through the comments and making sure I try to uh, get everybody. So this is like a clear shout out for some of you guys. Let me see. See. I do try to respond back like I say something. So here's a scroll shout out for y'all. Oh, my battery is linking to me blinking telling me it's low so i'm going to continue try to respond back to some videos that i previously upload because i do try to do that um you guys believe it or not but now that she's up it's not much i'm gonna get done so after she drinks that i'm gonna go make her breakfast and get her started for the day and look at diva waiting for her snack she waiting yep we see you we see you, Diva. We see you. We see. No, what was the deal? What was the deal? You and mommy, what was the deal? You gonna eat eggs today? Yeah. Yes, she's gotta eat some eggs. Can y'all see that? See the rain? Uh, raining outside. But anyway, I wanted to show y'all something. I had bought this way back when Halo started eating. Food. When I started, when I had introduced her to solid foods, I bought this little um, egg McMuffin microwave concoction where you can put an egg in here. 
Cause you know when babies are little, they be ready to eat. They ain't got time for you to be figuring out what you want to do. So I got this little concoction here and I'm gonna use this to give her some more eggs because I told y'all Halo to stop eating eggs when she used to eat eggs every single morning. So I just wanna give her a balanced breakfast. So I got some waffles here. I'm gonna make her an egg and cut up some fruit for her and still try to give her more of a balanced, healthy breakfast. That is like the goal for me to do, okay? So, I just wanted to share that with you. And this is how the egg is when it comes out the microwave. Only one minute. So, nice and fluffy. I'll just put the egg, some cheese, a little bit of butter, and milk. And it's nice and fluffy, you guys. Let me show y'all in a minute. So, a nice fluffy egg. I'm working with one hand here. Now I gotta get her waffle. Oh. 